guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how to not present numbers like a typical car salesman. I'm gonna tell you, all right, there's lots of automotive sales trainers out there. What's the difference between me and the rest? Well, number one, I'm not gonna run some slideshow bull crap on you today. I'm actually gonna show you how to physically close a deal, close it for all the money, how to navigate through a negotiation right without setting yourself in a trap, and guess what? How to set up the traps for the customers. Now, by the way, right, as we get into this, I know this, all right? I'm gonna talk about confidence in the beginning and then I'm gonna work my way all the way in through presenting it all right if you are wanting to level up and crush it and kill it follow my daily sales training on YouTube every single um, week we put out three or four new videos I've got over three or four hundred videos right now on YouTube that you can watch and by the way you can reach out to me I've got tons of sales training programs from live to online that will help you elevate your game to the next level like I said in the beginning most sales trainers guess what they were hired by a company they never crushed it killed it broke records and made a lot of money I made over 700 grand my last year selling cars two million as a GM and now I'm teaching you how to do it okay so let's enjoy this video and by the way if you're not already subscribed subscribe right now like the video shoot me a comment let's rock and roll and before we get into it you're welcome to always set a strategy call with me understand this how much does it cost nothing it's really easy you click on the link below join me in a status strategy call set it up boom it'll be me and you we're gonna rock and roll we'll crush it I'll help you get to the next level all right so don't present numbers like a typical car salesman now when I say this to you all right are you different than everyone else I hope that you understand why we use this word typical okay is because your your job in life is not to be a car salesman it's to be an advisor okay okay it's to be an investor okay it's to be a guide right the trusted guide okay think about this this is important before we get into this okay because guess what if you walked up to a Starbucks right now and you were like hey you know what I'm doing a survey about car salesmen what do you think about car salesmen they'd say uh, robbers thieves liars you know blah 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 guess what happens I don't care about none of that okay what I know is we're in the era of the worst salesperson in the history of time that's good for you because the typical car salesman has already screwed it up so so bad that if you'll listen to me you'll crush these guys you'll make more money than ever and you'll destroy it but you got to be different okay remember this I said what would happen if you went to Starbucks guess what we know what people would say but what would they say after they met you so number one you have to have massive report you have to have trust you have to take control within the first three seconds of the conversation right when you meet a customer you go, you, you meet them, you, you ask questions, ask great questions, get great answers, fact, find, qualify, you land them on a vehicle. After you land them on a vehicle, you, you have them drive it, make sure they fall in love with it, they envision themselves owning it for the very first time. You ask for their business outside on the lot, hey, if I could get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? Ah, yeah, yeah, Andy, I would. Okay, cool, come on inside, let me show how easy it is to do business with this, with us. And you sit down and you start filling out your worksheet. You know, how do you want your new car title? Where would you like a title mailed to? You go through these steps you better not be skipping these steps I want to explain something to you all right making sure you're doing your write-up right okay take control make it engaging keep them involved right people want to buy something but they want to buy it from these people not the car salesman not the typical car salesman okay listen if you had ten thousand dollars right now and I just want you to think about this the way you present something is the way the customer perceives it think about it Presentation's everything. I don't care what you do. You got a bad presentation, you're screwed. So I want you to think about this, okay? Right now, you have $10,000 cash. You walk into an investor's office and you're like, hey, you know what? I'm wanting to invest this $10,000. You're a little bit skeptical of investing. Maybe you haven't before. Maybe you got burned one time. Imagine somebody else having a bad experience with a car salesman, okay? And then guess what happens? You can't get good advice from that person or you feel like that person really isn't competent enough, right? To tell you what to do. You're like, hey, I got $10,000, what should I do with it? And they're like, um, you know, maybe we could do this. Oh, no, 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 maybe even a better idea. Maybe we could, you're like, whoa, let me take my money and roll. Okay, number one, you as the salesperson, I, listen, understand this, when you present, 
the pen, that didn't say present. When you present the pencil, the proposal, the, the, the numbers, whatever it is, okay? You have to have 100% certainty that this is a great deal. I have to see it in your eyes. I have to see it in your smile. I have to see it in your body language. I have to see it in your posture. I have to hear it in your voice. I have to smell it on you, okay? Never forget what the hell I'm telling you right now. You have 99% certainty, not 100, 99. You have 1% uncertainty. Your customers will cling to that 1% uncertainty and they will leave. They will roll. They will interrupt you. They, they will turn the deal south, they will pull back control, and they will go cold. Now I know that's not what you want, okay? So I want you to do this real quick. Before I go into how to present a pencil, I want you to think about this right now. Do you believe in yourself 500%? I don't care, customer 700 a month, they wanna be at 300, doesn't matter. Do you believe in yourself 100%? Do you believe in what you're saying? If you don't believe in what you're saying, your manager says, hey, here's the pencil, okay? 18.9, right? Okay, I don't know, 72 months, you know, 325 a month, 1,000 down, I don't care what it says. If you, and by the way, sometimes it ain't like 325, sometimes it's like 690 a month, right? Guess what, or 890, guess what happens? Whatever that is. If you don't believe in those numbers, listen, hey guys, great news, I got a great deal and you turn it around and you don't believe, they're rolling. They're never going to pay that. They're never going to respect you. Respect is earned, okay? So you have to believe in yourself. This is you. This is yourself. You have to believe in you. Believe in yourself, okay? If you do not believe in yourself, and you lack the confidence, you will get murdered on your pencils going in, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Number one right now, just do this for me, okay? Get a pen and get a piece of paper, okay? I want you to write this down. This is, this is the timeline of how I present a deal. So, this is the pencil, manager gave it to me, okay? And guess what I do? I'm about to go in, this is gonna be seconds. We're gonna write seconds, okay? This is one second. And then we're working our way up to 20 seconds. 20 seconds is how long it takes me to present the deal. I'm gonna tell you how a typical car salesman presents it before I show you how I do mine. But I wanna explain this to you, right? This is a typical car salesman. Hey guys, I got great news, 18.9, 3.29 a month, 6.90 a month, thousand down. Sign here, let me get your new car cleaned up for you. Yeah, you hear that dead silence? You know that dead silence right there? You know what that is? That's the negotiation bell going off. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I guess now that he's quiet, now this is the time to ask for a better deal. Thanks, thanks for giving me that opportunity. Hey, you know what? Andy, I don't think I want to do that payment, and I don't like that price. I never paid what a dealer was asking for on the price. Oh, okay, okay, and then you go into it. No. Listen, a lot of managers, this is the 21st century, a lot of managers have taught their salespeople, present the numbers, shut up. I don't like it. I'm not telling you to be me. I don't want you to be a typical salesperson. If 95% of the world, take it, 95% of them out there are all presenting the numbers and shutting up and you do the same thing, will you sound like everybody else? Yeah, that's crazy man because you told me a minute ago you were different. You know what, you told me you weren't a car salesman, that you were an advisor, an investor, and a guide. Why are you acting like a typical car salesman? Let me show you how to level up and go to the next level. This isn't about overcoming objections, this is about diversion. Let me teach you a diversion tactic, and let, number one, diversion, and number two, 
the psychology of how people think. So you see, during a negotiation, your customers will remember the last thing that you say. So if I was in a negotiation with you for three minutes, the first minute, all of the great points I made would not be remembered in the last 30 seconds before I'm done. Now the first minute, you probably said some really good stuff that probably should have helped me close my deal, but since I only remember what's at the end of the negotiation, it doesn't even have an impact on me anymore and I have forgotten about it. People's brains see what's right in front of them. So what do we want to do? We want to present the pencil, right? Which means we want to say the numbers. And then, as soon as we say the numbers, we want to do a diversion. This is going to look like this. This is a 20 second pitch here, okay? I'm going to take five seconds, okay? Presenting the numbers. Follow me. The next 15 seconds, okay? Doing a diversion, okay? Now, what is a diversion? A diversion is basically me changing the subject, okay? And what I'm hoping, by the way, listen, nothing works 100% of the time. This video is not called how to close 100% of your customers 100% of the time. It's how not to present a pencil like a typical car salesman, okay? So, typical car salesman, he comes in, says, hey guys, great news, sign here, let me get your new car cleaned up. Nope, negotiation bell goes off, they attack, now you start fighting. My goal is, is this, maybe they won't take it, okay? Maybe they won't. But the psychology of selling is this, I'm pretty sure when they were at home today, or last night, or last week, and they were sitting at the kitchen table, they probably figured when they went to the car dealership that the numbers were gonna be a little higher than they wanted. I know that that happened. And I hope that I've done such a great job selling it that when I present the pencil, that guess what happens? They'll just take it and do the deal with me because I've planned my words so well and I've planned my presentation so well that they'll say to in their selves, you know what? We knew the payment was gonna be a little higher anyways. We knew that it was gonna be a little higher, but I guess we'll take it anyways. And I'm gonna tell you this, I close 50% of first pencil deals teaching you exactly, I mean teaching and doing exactly what I'm teaching you right now, okay? Five second presenting, 15 second diversion. All right, you ready? And by the way, hey listen to me. When somebody buys a car, when somebody buys a car, sometimes in a dealership, let's say they buy a car on the 1st of January. I'm just giving you an example, okay? When they buy a car on the 1st of January, do they have a payment due the same day when they drive off the lot? No. Most customers, right, they get 30 days until their next payment, right, when they buy a car from a dealership. In some stores, you can get 45 days until your first payment. So, if I had a store, if you work in a store where every time somebody buys something, they get 30 days till the first payment. You know what I would do? I would say the 30 day spill, which I'm gonna show you. If your store gives up to 45 days, I would do the 45 day spill, which is what I'm about to give you. That is gonna be part of my diversion, okay? So watch me present this. Hey guys, first of all, got great news, okay? Obviously we're gonna be paying your car off, you're gonna get your new vehicle today. Paying your old car off, that payment's gone. This is gonna be your new monthly payment. Dials and down. Guys, let me get your new car cleaned up. Thank you so much for your business. Hey, and by the way, you know what? I apologize. Watch me go into the diversion. Hey guys, I apologize. I didn't even ask you guys. I didn't even think of this. When did you guys want to set that first payment due? Were you guys thinking towards like the beginning of the month? The middle of the month? What, what is going to work best for you and your family? Uh, probably in the middle of the month? Cool, man. So are you thinking more like the 10th or the 15th? What's going to work best? Uh, 15th, great. Guys, I'm gonna let my manager know you want the payment due around the 15th. Thank you so much for your business. I appreciate it. If you'll just sign right here, I'll get your new car cleaned up. Guys, you are awesome, man. Who are you guys gonna show your new car to first? Pick up momentum, move through it. Let's replay this again, okay? No negotiation bell went off. Did you hear any dead silence? Nope. Did I create any dead silence? Nope. Did you hear a negotiation bell go off? Nope. Now, if they're not gonna take the deal, and they say, hey Andy, I appreciate you asking about the payment, but 
I still can't afford that. You say, hey, I understand. Let me show you how affordable your new car is. Boom, you go into closing. No big deal. This is on presenting the numbers. Listen to me. The beginning of a negotiation, the first time that you start talking about money, look, the first 90% of the time, you're outside on the lot building value. The last 10% of the time, you're inside negotiation collecting 100% of the money. Let me explain this to you. That last 10% of the time when you're collecting 100% of the money, if you don't know how to talk about money, you will have no money. If you don't know how to talk about money, you will have no money. You have to be great at presenting. How do you do it? You do it by keeping the negotiation bell off. Silent that sucker. We're never going to hear it again. Go into the diversion after presenting it. And then if they say it's too high, write this down. Follow up with saying, I understand. Let me show you how affordable your new vehicle is. And then you can go into closing and negotiating. You just pivot right into it. But most of the time, I'm going to tell you this. They will answer the question. Why? Because people are programmed to remember the last part of a negotiation, which ends, hint, I give you the numbers, you hear it, and then I say, hey man, you know, I apologize. And then I go into the diversion, which is the last part, which you're remembering, your brain is thinking of, and I actually ask you a question. When did you want to set your first payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, what's going to work best for you and your family? What's best? Guess what? They give you an answer, boom, uh, probably around the middle of the month. Awesome, okay, well, so more like around the 10th or the 15th. They say towards the end of the month, you're like, okay, cool, like the 25th or maybe like the 30th. What are you thinking? Uh, either is fine. Okay, cool, I'll let my manager know the 25th is great, guys. Thank you so much for your business, man. You guys are amazing, man. I love your family. I'm not only going to say this car, I'm going to say every car you buy for the rest of your life. I am going to give you world-class treatment forever. Thank you so much. Move through it with momentum. Don't close on the first pencil and be like, uh. Oh, uh, okay, well, I guess I'll get your paperwork ready. Don't be that guy. That's the typical car salesman. This video is about how to stay away from the typical car salesman person. We're in the era of the worst salesperson in the history of time. Guess what? Level up. Don't sound like anyone else at any other dealership that they've ever been to. Use the diversion, which is great for closing and negotiating, and let's figure out how long it takes for you to present a pencil. I said roughly 20 seconds. I'm gonna do it one last time. You're gonna hear a five second pitch, and then a 15 second diversion. And that's my goal. All right, ready? Hey guys, great news. 18.9, 3.90 a month, 1,000 down. Sign here, let me get your new car cleaned up. Oh guys, and hey, I apologize. Forgot to ask you. When did you guys want to set your first payment due? Were you guys thinking towards like the beginning of the month, the middle of the month? What is going to work best for you and your family? Or even the end of the month, what's going to work best? Be quiet. Um, Andy, I don't know, it looks like a little more we wanted to pay. I understand, let me show you how affordable your new car is. Boom. Uh, I, I don't know, Andy, um, maybe around the middle of the month? Okay, cool, so you're thinking more around the 10th or the 15th? What's best, 10th, 15th, what are you thinking? Guess what, he says more like the 15th. Cool, hey, I'm gonna let my manager know you want your payment due around the 15th. Thank you so much for your business, guys. Sign right here, I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. Guys, listen to me, and I know this sounds crazy. You have to practice presenting. You have to practice it, okay? I don't care what the numbers are. Do we care what the numbers are? Nope. I don't care if they're high, if they're low, they're where they wanted to be. I want to talk about your plan of attack on presenting every time. I do the same thing. Every way, same way. 18.9, 3,000 for the trade, paying your car off today, I don't care. 3.29 a month, 1,000 down, 6.90 a month, $1,000 a month, 5,000 down. Sign here, let me get your new car cleaned up for you. Hey, you know what, and I apologize, forgot to ask you. When do you wanna set your first payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, end of the month, what's best for you guys? I didn't even ask you earlier, so it was kinda of bothering me, I didn't know when you wanted to do it. You see, my concern is when you want your payment due. Guys, this is a video on how not to present the pencil like a typical salesman. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe right now. Guys, comment below. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to make for you. Also, if you love the video, let me know you loved it. Rock and roll, guys. Remember, you can set up a strategy call with me in the link below, or you can always, let me just do this for you, at the end, shoot me a text message, 918-210-0254. Guys, every single day I answer all of my own text messages 918-210-0254 shoot me a text message I can help you level up guys I'll see you in the strategy call if I haven't met you I can't wait to meet you subscribe let's crush it don't be like everyone else guys you are the one percenters have a great day